ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. In the background, you might hear Mr. Edgar chewing on his toy. I don't think you can see him in the webcam or not. You might if he gets crazy, but he should be calming down. I mean, it is almost 7 o'clock at night, but guys, I wanted to share this team with you. This is going to be the team I'm going to be playing with today. This is all the same mons from my team, but there are a few changes. A few changes I got going on here. So, for instance, Rotom Heat, I got rid of Will-O-Wisp, and I put Thunderbolt on for if, if I uh, Dynamax him. Dragapult, I gave him choice. Is that choice specs right? And I gave him all special attack moves because no one really expects it. I know like more and more people are doing it. It's trying to be different. Uh, let's see. What else did I change? Um, I gave Gastrodon the Iron Ball. So if there is a Trick Room team, which is my biggest problem I have. I literally just don't know how to fight uh, Trick Room team. He will be the slowest on the field because usually Torkoal is slower than me and beats me. So I wanted to outspeed him or, you know, outspeed him in Trick Room so I could potentially Dynamax and Max Geister. And then my Winsmacot, I I like want Winsmacot so bad because he's a great Tailwind setup, especially because he has Prankster and he has Focus Sash. But I always have the biggest problem with him. So I changed Energy Ball for Giga Drain. I might in the future change out Dazzling Gleam for Moonblast, but I don't know. And then I gave him Helping Hand, so if he is down to just 1 HP, he can just Helping Hand whatever mana I have to hopefully guarantee a knockout. And then I gave Corviknight instead of Life Orb, I gave, him <clears throat> I gave him Leftovers so he can just continue to live and just be a nuisance, especially if I just continuously bulk up. But let's go ahead and get into a match, and of course, down below you'll see the team ID and also you'll see the new overlay that I made. I kind of like it. And uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the actual gameplay window is a little bit bigger than what it uh, previously was. So let's hop right into this video, guys. My record right now is 20 and 13. I need to play more often than I do, but I play a lot on showdown when I want to practice and not record because it's much faster. But also, guys, I forgot to mention this. Look out the, check out the new Running on Empty merch. There's the hoodie, and then here is the blue hat. The blue hat's always been available, but I just now got it. I love this hoodie though. This hoodie is it's a different material from the other hoodies. It's uh, instead of a heavier, thicker hoodie, like a tighter fit but thicker, um, it is a loose and thinner hoodie, which I really, really like. So, and it has the new design on here. Can you see it in there? I think you can. So, I uh, really like it. But here we go. Got a team. See, obvious, a trick room team. So, what I like to do when I find a Trick Room team now, this is what, the only thing I can really think of is lead Gastro, because Iron Ball, he'll go first. And then Corviknight, I can bulk up the first round. And then also, usually, there's like a Follow Me user or a Trick Room user that's Fairy, so I have Iron Head. And then, oh, I don't know what that new Meowth type is. I want to say he's like, based off of looking at him, Dark Steel. Or just Steel, or just Dark? I don't know. And then... So who would I want to Dynamax this game? I have, uh, I do like sometimes I switch Dragapult to have Assault Vest instead of Choice Specs, but this set with Choice Specs is because I like to primarily Dynamax him. And so giving him Choice Specs is kind of super lit. I think I'm going to be Dragapult in the back and then probably Grimmsnarl, right? For support, Thunder Wave. Can any of them avoid a Thunder Wave? The Rune or Rigorous can, I believe, right? Because he's like ground type. I think everyone else can get Thunder Wave. Oh, but does that Hattering set up a uh, terrain? No, it's it's indeed that set up terrain. I'm gonna bring the Grim Snarl. I'm gonna bring the Grim Snarl just to see. Let's see what happens here. True, with Trick Room teams, I literally just I never know what to do. And I know it's usually like what you're supposed to do, like in the first turn, is just knock out the Trick Room user. But I can never seem to pull that off properly. Like they always like either guess it and they just protect or i just don't knock them out somehow oh neither one of these guys are even gonna go for the okay or unless can the meowth do trick him i doubt it so he's just steel type obviously your water type i knew that i don't know why i checked but this is perfect having gastrodon out with this bear scuda so do we earth power this meowth or whatever his new name is i believe so and then I believe we go for the bulk up on Corviknight because neither one of these guys can hurt him. I think that's what we do here. I know that, so, a problem I have in Pokemon is I, like, whatever my first thought is, is I usually just go with it instead of thinking of other possibilities. 
Okay, so there's the trick and user. And who's he fake out? Okay, so no bulk up. That's fine. I still get the earth power off on the Meowth, or the wannabe Meowth. Alright, so he lives. Big bulky bull. My first time actually fighting against one of these dudes. So, and there we go. The lefties. Back to full health. Bang. So now, do we go for the earth power? Do we go for the ice beam on Runarigus? Or we could scald him, actually. I think we're going to go for the scald to go for the... Well, the burn doesn't matter, but at least the scald will be stabbed. And then if he does... Can Runarigus do ally switch? I think he can. And if he does ally switch, it doesn't matter. I can hit that Meowth with Skull. I think that's a good call. And then I think we're going to go for another bulk up still. Because I don't think that these guys have anything that can hurt me. And then I know that the Runarigus is just going to go for a Trick Room. And he'll survive any hit I do on him. Well, actually... Maybe we go for the Iron Head and potentially hit the... Flinch? Now I'm going to go for the bulk up because just in case he protects. I don't want to put both my attacks into that when I'd rather be bulking up. So, this is one of those situations where I could have went for the Iron Head, but if he di and if he didn't protect, but then again, it also may have just not flinched him. Especially if this is the one that he's going to Dynamax, and it definitely won't flinch. So let's see, if he did Runarigus, no, he did the Meowth, or whatever the thing is called in this game. I don't really care what it's called. Okay, so let's see what he does. See how it speed me? I don't remember for last time. I need to pay more attention. That's another problem I have with going for uh, playing a lot of showdown is I don't have to pay attention because I can just look at the, the the log on the side. Max steel spec and the gastro. But I live that like a lot. So what do you do? He's just trying to raise his defense. Would be my guess. That's probably a good idea because I'm bulking up with the Corviknight. He just wants to raise his defense. Skull here, that should do some good damage. Not as much as I wanted to. I mean, I would like the burn just to do more damage, but it doesn't go through. And now the, the ugly Trick Room. So, and he has lefties on that. Okay, so we're just gonna go for the other Scald because I'm gonna go first. And then we're gonna do, honestly, I kinda, do I wanna bulk up one more time or no? But here's the thing, Brave Bird. Now we're gonna go for the Brave Bird because he can't steal spike either one of us. Actually, that's the thing, he can't steal spike either one of us to hurt us, which is kind of why I just want to bulk up again. I kind of want to bulk up again. I just want to like get really set up right now, you know? Because I could go for the Brave Bird, but what is he gonna do? See, he protects, so the the max the worst damage this guy can do is like what max steal spike. And no matter who he hits with that, it doesn't even matter. So all he's doing is raising his defense, which obviously sucks. But I'm just going to keep bulking up. Honestly, I think I'm going to bulk up. Literally, I think I'm going to bulk up one more time just to scare the crap out of him. And then as soon as he gets undyna... Oh, let's see. There's how many more rooms of Trick Room does he have? He's got a few more rounds of Trick Room. Maybe I should stop wasting my time bulking up. Maybe... What I'll do is I'll Dynamax, and I'll go for the Steel, my, my own Max Steel Spike. Because then, I can raise my Gastrodon's defense. So actually what I'll do... Now we're gonna, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep the Skull on Gastro, he can survive another hit or two. And he'll go first. So yeah, we're gonna go for the Steel Spike on Runarigus. That way, so now what we want to do, actually, I'm really glad I didn't bulk up again. Does not want to actually knock out this Runarigus. So when the Trick Room is down, he won't have another Trick Room. So we'll get my Steel Spike going up. And like I said, the reason why I want to do that is to get just maximum defense. Because my Corviknight's already plus two on defense. And I'm going to get my Gastro another defense boost. And then he can recover as well. So this is pretty good. Honestly, I'm going to try to play this out without dropping him on. Mr. Edgar's chewing on his toy in the background. He loves his toys. So what does that do? Can I at least get a burn for extra damage? There we go. There we go. I'll take that. Now you're going to body press. Like, dude, literally these guys are doing nothing to me. This is so awesome. And now, this round, Gastron's going to have another plus defense boost. And he's going to get recover. That was a crit and it barely did anything. And I didn't even give him the plus, the plus defense boost yet. And that's the thing, these guys are racing the defense, but my Gastrodon is a special attacker. So you're not even protecting yourself from Gastro. 
So now your trick room setter upper is down. Did you have another one? Wait, I don't remember. Oh, he, he had Hatterene that he could have potentially brought. But if he has Hatterene, he's just in trouble because isn't Hatterene fairy type? It's like fairy psychic, right? I think Steel will bop you. So yeah, oh yeah, we're we're in good we're in good hands for sure right here. I like this setup. See, this is why I like bringing Corviknight against Trick Rooms, because I haven't ran to many Trick Rooms setter up. Is that not to my knowledge that I actually hurt Corviknight? Like Corviknight can just bulk up freely, and then when Gastro's there, Gastro is just a pain to everyone. I'm gonna just see how many two more rounds of Trick Room. Yeah. And now I can see, now I can max uh, Steel Spiky, which actually I don't even know why they brought Hatterene out because you still have two more rounds of Trick Room, so she didn't need to come out yet. Plus, I have a super effective Dynamax move to hit you with. Unless you're going to do some kind of weird ally switch, which once again, then I don't really care because then I just raise my defense. Although, Hatterene is a special attacker, I believe, which does put a hurting on. But my Corvette Knight's Dynamax, so I... Uh, I'm good there. Like, he'll survive no matter what. And then if the Meowth does hit me, I mean, I'm like, what am I, plus three? Plus three defense right now? So, yeah. So, there you go. Get my recover up. This is why I do the Iron Ball. I want to make sure that in Trick Room, if you do Trick Room against me, I go first. And I know Rindo Berry is, like, a really good item. See, there's, I mean, that does hurt. Just don't burn me. But see, now you're lowering your special attacks. <laughs> now I'm good. Now I can just roost. Close combat's really good, but I'm plus three defense. But so I was saying with the Rindo Berry, like, sure, Rindo Berry is good. Of course it is. But it's not. Um, it's only good for one turn. You know, Iron Ball makes sure I go first through the whole trick room. And now, like, so there goes your Mystical Fire. So now I'm good. And I, I can just roost now if I wanted to. And I have leftovers. Like, my Corviknight's not going down, dude. I've, I really do believe that this has so far been my best, my best, like, defense against Trick Room teams. Because Trick Room teams are everywhere, and I have the hardest time fighting them. I used to run Trick Room on my Wismacot, so I could anti-Trick Room, but that didn't really work that often. So now, we're going to just start attacking and just bopping these fools. So, Max Airstream, onto the Bear Skewed up. Honestly, this should just be a double knockout right here. <laughs> Actually, it would not have been a double knockout because the Meowth, Meowth had um, defense boost. But regardless, they canceled. They knew they were in trouble. I told you I was winning that game without dropping a mana. That actually felt really good. This has been, uh, you know, my first game playing in a while. It's Christmas right now. Did I say Merry Christmas at the beginning of this? I know this video is not going up until the 26th, so it won't be Christmas anymore. But it'll be delayed Christmas. So leave in the comments what you guys get or what didn't you get that you wanted. And did you want any ROE apparel? Did you?